Stone Boy, as I knew him, some of the earliest songs that he ever recorded were reggae and dancehall. I don't think that Stone Boy is asking to be named in the book of hip life. Now they looked at the pioneers of dancehall in Ghana. And you know who they mentioned? Now Shatawale was mentioned. You see, the thing many people don't know, and I know Shatawale is going to be angry with me when I say this. Yes, Shatawale is all that. The age he gives you all these years is his music age, just as some people have music, uh, football age. Few months older than. Imago Life Media Sony, subscribe to Life Financial Video no from Amazon from. Start Boy is in the news now or trendy. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Grammy uh, Awards here yeah, on my way. I'm the writer be a man so a mobile boy a year hip life. One now I'm a few say I'm making name for themselves in hip life. I'm my hip life no I hip life. I was Ghana. Now hip life no more mobile boy no. Now I say mobile boy. If for the ama, na if for say ah, aden, aden. And si if for Stone Boy, ede ko aye na Twitter now X. E ko chow say. Ni pa pra or chow sa article no clearly no or make a mistake na or person or draw ni attention to that particular mistake. Na we jani din aye da Stone Boy e din e wum because to him ofili say. He's making Ghana music, you know, um, proud and why in the quota. So definitely, if people like Samini, Shatawale, Famiye, um, Kempalu, Tamu, and the other people, you know, Omudia, Bebem, the other, definitely, Stone Boy, as big as he is, you know, Nindin should appear. This statement, you know, has brought about a whole bunch of unfortunate self. When did, uh, old Stone Boy over here, a year hip life artist, but Shatawale was a hip life artist. Now, some come here, Mono, and a black raster, and black raster, so the assembly of a shim, no, I can say, ah, now only Charles Niamana. Charles Niamana, the name music career age, no, dear my own, self brain, meaning black was his day. Say Shatawale, chain brass, I mean you, I know, chain him months. Shatawale, or your ground up. Why a grandpa, na grandbrother? When you ni na say ni thirty something or dem my yo buaso oko sixty. And the black rasta say, "What catch your stone boy say? Fine ma, shatawale. or started to bandana from Ghana. Oh oh, bandana from Ghana, yeah. And you me other bra yes ah eh eh sisi ah ah ha. Stone boy, what were you? We need less big head and more facts. Shatawale drags Stone Boy over Grammy article omission. Reggae dancehall artist Shatawale has reacted to concerns raised by colleague musician Stone Boy about not being featured in an article on hip life uh, artists. Stone Boy has expressed his concerns about not being mentioned in an article listing Ghanaian musicians who had made an impact on the hip life genre in Ghana. Although netizens pointed out that the article was specified to hip life artist only, Stone Boy remained adamant in his claim that he should have been included. Shatawale, however, known for his outspoken nature, did not hold back his reply. In a post on X on August the 23rd, 2024, Shatawale urged Stone Boy to reduce his ego and allow credit to be given to those due. How are you going to demand a shout out in a hip life article when you didn't even get the memo back then somebody needs to deflate this ego a bit let's credit let's give credit where it's actually due stone boy we need less big head and more facts hallelujah hallelujah i checked it too I checked it out. Stone Boy wrote on X that whoever wrote that article was very ignorant of the ongoings in the East industry in Ghana. See? And what did the article say? It credited people like Root Eye. See? And said, hey, Root Eye, 
He was one of the pioneers of dancehall right here in Ghana. And they mentioned Samini. And then they mentioned um, um, Shatawali. And then they brought into hip life and also talked about Red Rock Stone. And even with that, they said there was rap in Ghana. And mentioned Ambuli for his 1970s rap, Simiwa. But somewhere in the 1990s, rap hit the coast of this country. And boom, so many Ghanaians latched onto it. And it gave birth to hip life as named by Reggie Rock Stewart. My brother, my sister, I saw that article as a refreshing article. Yes, if there's anything we have to do, we need to also be able to correct a few things that is to be able to keep the history straight. Is that correct? But let me look at this. If you are talking about hip life in Ghana, Reggie Rockstone's name will come number one. And I'm glad it mentioned it. Right? Now, when you talk about hip life in Ghana, Lord Kenya, or Brafo, and the others help to revolutionize it, right? But the grandfather or the godfather of hip life, we all say it's Reggie Rockstone. Even though a few years back, some people refuted it, even the naming of the thing and so on and so forth. But the man stood firm and was able to hold on to his legacy. Maybe that is what Stoneboy is doing. But let's see if Stoneboy deserves to be mentioned in uh, the beginnings of dancehall and also hip life. I have never seen Stoneboy as a hip life artist. I don't know if he even has hip life songs. Because in the days of hip life, Stoneboy was still young and teething and did not actually hold on to the microphone of hip life. In fact, Stoneboy, as I knew him, some of the earliest songs that he ever recorded were reggae and dancehall. I don't think that Stoneboy is asking to be named in the book of hip life. That's not what I think. Now let us look at dancehall. Now they looked at the pioneers of dancehall in Ghana. And you know who they mentioned? They mentioned Root Eye. Is Root Eye deserving of being called a pioneer of dancehall? Absolutely, yes. The very first dancehall song in Ghana, by my standards, was done by you, Root Eye. Sweetie, sweetie, found Saba to me come. When I'm a Shushantin, I'm a Yakum. It's a Jamaican flow. The melody is actually borrowed from Luciano. But he used it. And Zab Malek produced it. That was the very first dancehall song we had here. And today I'm going to close with that. My brother, my sister. Now, Shatawale was mentioned. You see, the thing many people don't know, and I know Shatawale is going to be angry with me when I say this. Look, Shatawale is older than Samini. Did you know that? Yes. Shatawale is older than Samini. The age he gives you all these years. It's his music age, just as some people have music, uh, football age. Shatawale is a few months older than Samini. And I'm telling you this for a fact. He's not a little boy. He's just handsome and beautiful. My brother, my sister, Shatawale has been in the game for only God knows how long. He was just underground, struggling and suffering. And to God be the glory, he's been able to come up. One day when he writes his book, then you might see his real age and when he was born. I would not mention it, but I can tell you he is older than Samini. Samini doesn't even know this. That's why when he calls Samini Olu, Samini keeps quiet. In one way or the other. He's older than Samini. But he's been able to play the young card. The youth card and all the youth have been able to come around him. And I want to learn from that. Some of us, we can't say we are 25. There are grace all over us. No matter how much you try to paint your beard and your hair, you still will be pointed out as, hey, Masa, Effie Road. Ewa, my brother. Now let's get back to Stone Boy. When Shatawale started releasing music, Stone Boy hadn't started. As Stone Boy says, was told, Shatawale is a contemporary of Samini. 
They come from the same era. And Samini has said it time and again. But Shatawale has played the card. Oh, I'm for the youth. I'm young just like them. He sucks his pants. He dresses like them and tries to do things like them and all that. And they admire him and see him like, you know, he's one of them. But he's actually their father. I think it's a beautiful thing that you can use in marketing. I think if Stoneboy is not mentioned in the dance hall thing, I think that he should be humble enough. Humble, please. You are doing so much. You are one of the hardest working artists in the world, not only in Ghana. What you have achieved, I couldn't achieve it in your age. No, at your age, I couldn't achieve this thing that you are doing now. And I'm so proud of you. Traveling around the world, performing on several festivals. For me, if you are an artist and you have never played on a festival stage outside, rethink your status as an artist the festival is where different artists from around the world come together to showcase their talents when you rub shoulders with these people and still stand out that is when you call yourself tried and tested and stoneboy has done it how many Ghanaian artists have done that but don't be in a hurry to be mentioned amongst legends when you still have many more years to go because in Ghana when you are called a legend, it means they are ready to bury you. Are you, are you aware? Once the youth start calling you legend, oh legend, it's synonymous with all man, all G, all G. There's nothing like living legend in Ghana. It means all G, you are off the road. Don't be in a hurry to be added into the book of legends. Continue working hard. Look, the accolades will chase you. Humble beginnings beget big futures. Think about it. I leave it here. <laughs> And it's your chum when you're a moon fat a year dance for the end so and run a moon fashion a stone boy a dingy kind and yes, I have stone boy on tear say or come a chopper. But the other say a chen is a penny the penny bandana from Ghana by a stone boy in the music scene and onto the shot wallet grandpapa and every moment be a friend and grand brother. Yeah, the food in the music career age about your turn it to and it will be unpaid with due respect for shot a wallet. Ha, a mobile life media. Subscribe, like, and share video in the format of Roshan Kuma. Friend, I'm Yelda, and I'm Joe Sumakran.